Hello fellow geeks and welcome back to Running Geek Girl. My name is Heather and I'm glad you're here today because it is time to take a look at the month of January in my January update. Now what I like to do at the end of every month is take a look at how things have gone training wise, take a look at any medals that I've earned, any races that I've done, any new gear that I've tried out and what's going to be coming up soon on the channel. So we're going to go ahead and jump into training over the month of January. I've taken some footage. Let's take a look at it now. Hello and happy new year. I am uh, finally back at it. If you've been keeping up with what's been going on on the channel as far as recovery from surgery, um, it's been uh, a little bit of a setback. Since it happened just a little bit before New Year's, I was not able to do what most runners get to do and do that uh, nice New Year's run. In fact, here it is on Monday, several days after the New Year has started, and I'm finally able to get outdoors. And you'll notice still covering up just because I'm trying to protect my face from the elements until everything is completely healed. So that'll take a couple of weeks at least. But I am happy to be back outside. It was a rough stretch there where I couldn't really get out of bed and I was overeating and I was getting depressed and so this is just a wonderful change of pace to be able to be out and about even if it is for just a walk. I will most likely try to do a short jog tomorrow, take it kind of easy and see how it feels because got to build those miles back up because marathon training does not stop. So um, anyway, if you'd like more information about the surgery and what's been going on, then make sure that you click around on my channel and you will see all of my health updates but for now I am just going to enjoy being outdoors and uh, slowly start building my strength back up catch you later so Monday the 11th and uh, not gonna lie the last week was pretty dang rough um, if you saw my first meatless for a month update you'll know that I talked about just being completely drained of energy. Um, had a lot to do with medications and supplements all being jostled around as I'm recovering from surgery. But I uh, managed to get all that back on track. Didn't run much over the course of the week. It was mostly walking just because it was hard to find enough energy to get out the door, much less run. And uh, managed to rally in time for a long run on Saturday. Got it up to 10 miles and uh, it was all indoors on the treadmill because it was super cold. Didn't feel like exposing my face to the cold and the wind and everything. So just stuck with the treadmill since I didn't know what my energy levels were going to do. If my energy suddenly plummeted it, then I would be there at home. I could get myself to some energy sources, some electrolytes, take care of what I needed to take care of. So managed to do that. But uh, we've turned over to a new week, starting to feel a little better, starting to get things a little more under control and uh, feeling a little more positive about how I'm going. Uh, I've still not added strength training back into the mix yet but I plan on starting that either end of this week or beginning of next week. So uh, starting to get things back on track slowly but surely. All right, I will catch you in the next update. Hey guys, so it is Saturday again. I found myself 100% unmotivated today. Um, kept listening to my body because it said it needed to rest and then by about 3.30 I was saying I just can't take being inside anymore, so I came out to the public walking and bike trail, and since I am in public, still masking up, and well, because I'm in public, because I'm not quite healed enough yet to use sunscreen, but I still need to be covered up, and a little self-conscious still with all the scarring and whatnot. Well, I am uh, just going to keep running and walking and listening to what my body tells me. Run what I feel like running, walk when I feel like walking. Seeing 
what kind of mileage I can get in today and uh, hoping to be just a little more consistent next week. So uh, this week, mostly a lot of walking, a little bit of treadmill running just because it's been so cold and uh, Thursday I was just so mentally drained from having to deal with personal issues and everything. I just did not have the motivation to work out at all on Thursday. So here's to hopefully getting a little bit of rest this weekend and getting back into a more consistent schedule next week. Here's hoping anyway. So here we are another week down. We are approaching the end of January already. Can't believe it. Um, kind of had a weird week. I've started incorporating strength training back in. So my arms and my glutes and my core are not happy with me, which just means that I was starting to uh, get a little out of shape. They obviously needed it. So strength training back on the table. I'm not going hardcore like 45 minute straight training sessions or anything uh, just because things have been so crazy lately I've been trying to keep it to about uh, 20 to 25 minutes sometimes 30 minutes and that seems to be working out pretty well weirdest thing happened this week and um, I think I've kind of got it all figured out and situated now but I reached a point around Wednesday where I could not remember the previous 24 hours. Um, I woke up and had no idea what day it was. I couldn't remember anything I'd done the day before. I mean, I vaguely remembered it, but it felt like it happened a week ago. It was just really, really weird. So I've kind of gotten medications and uh, hydration and everything dialed in a little tighter and that has helped a lot. But that was just a very weird, weird brain fog that I had. As far as long runs, I've kind of lost my mojo ever since Little Rock Marathon was postponed. Um, so I'm kind of giving myself a little bit of grace and kind of pulling back a little bit on the long runs. I'm not pushing for 20 miles or anything like that. Keeping it between 10 and 15 on long run days now. And that seems to be working out really well. And if I'm not feeling it, I'll just go for a five to seven. Uh, I'm trying to do myself a favor in 2021 and listen to my body a little bit more as to what I need to do and what I don't need to do. So that is uh, where we are now at the end of January. And I will see you back inside. And there you go. That's a look at what I've been doing over the month of January. It's been a fairly sedate month training wise. And a lot of that has to do with just, I'm having to deal with a lot mentally. I've kind of lost my mojo a little bit uh, when the Little Rock Marathon was postponed until November. I backed off a lot on my strength training and I've been trying to slowly incorporate that back in with a more clear focus on the quality of the workouts rather than the length of the workouts. So I've been trying to be a little more efficient in what I'm doing. I'm also trying very hard not to overtrain and hit the burnout phase, which is a very real possibility. But I do have other things on the horizon as far as my training goes. If you will look up here, I've got a link to a video that I made recently about some of the goals that I have for running over the course of this year. So take a look at that if you would like to know more. But overall, where I'm headed as far as training for next month is I'm hoping to get a little bit more on track. I would like to get into uh, at least 15 mile long runs between 10 and 15 miles. I'd like to bring the distance back up a bit and uh, again, concentrate a little more on the quality of strength training rather than the amount of strength training that I'm doing. So that's where I'm headed for the month of February. As far as races and medals. Now, most of you know that here in Arkansas, COVID is still 
kind of a looming monster. So there have not been any in real life races. I've been having to turn more towards virtual races. Now, a couple of virtual races I've had have been sort of an ongoing project. If you've watched this channel before, you've heard me talk about the Circumpolar race around the world that I've been doing with nine other ladies. And we have just this month finished region three. Regions one and two got us all the way down south as far as the Andes. Region three raced us from the Andes down to the tip of South America. And we have now started on region four, which is going to take us through Antarctica. As of now, since we just finished, we haven't received the medal for that portion of the race yet, but as soon as it gets here, I will be including it in an update. I am also involved in another virtual relay right now, and since it is ongoing and we've got probably another week or two to finish this off, I will give an update as soon as I can when we have finished, and I'll get you a little more information about what that was all about, uh, what it means, and how we did it. So stay tuned if you would like information about that virtual relay, and I will make sure to show the stuff that we got and tell you a little bit of the story about why we ran it. Turning to new gear and equipment, probably the only real addition that I've made over the course of this month is that the stores in the area have started carrying liquid IV. Now I have been able to try this out after some particularly hard runs to see how they work with me and I do have a review of liquid IV coming out so make sure that you are subscribed to the channel so that you don't miss that review. It's going to be coming out very soon. In other equipment and gear news, I have pre-ordered a pair of shoes that is going to be coming out at the beginning of next month. I'm very excited because this is the first time I have ever pre-ordered a running shoe to be on top of the game like that. So I'm super excited. I can't wait for them to get here. And as soon as they do, I will have an unboxing. I will have a review. As you know, I am not the greatest shoe tuber on the platform, but I will do my best to let you know how the shoes are working for me and what I think of them, just to give you my overall thoughts. And in upcoming news for the channel, like I said, there's going to be that review on Liquid IV. There's going to be the review coming up on the shoes. I've got more of running ABCs coming up soon. And since I haven't really done a race and running history video in a while, I was able to find a race that's been going on fairly recently in the United States that I found somewhat interesting. And so I'm going to give you a little bit of history about that race and a little bit of information about it if you would ever like to run it yourself. So be on the lookout for that video as well. The only other thing that's been going on in January is that I have been going meatless for the month of January. And if you want to check up here, I will link you to the first meatless for a month update that I have. I have one more update that's going to be coming out very soon. And that's going to wrap up the whole meatless for a month challenge and let you know my thoughts on it and uh, whether I think this is going to be sustainable for the foreseeable future. But uh, definitely keep an eye out for that because you may be surprised by some of the things that I found out. If you've been on the fence about going vegetarian or vegan or just trying to incorporate more meatless meals into your diet, then go ahead and check out what I've experienced so far and see if this is something that could potentially work for you. So there you have it. That is the month of January. And in a perfect world, I would be getting ready for the Princess Half Marathon in Disney World. But we all know, uh, you know, 2020 happened and it's affected us as far as 2021 goes. So still waiting for some in real life races to open up. But definitely stick around because as soon as I'm able to run a race in real life, I'm definitely going to film that. I will continue with virtual races and show you some interesting ones that you can register for yourself if you kind of like just getting bling and shirts in the mail, which I know I do. If you found this video entertaining or helpful, then make sure you let me know by dropping a comment down below or giving me a big thumbs up because both of those do help the channel out a lot. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below and that way you can be here anytime that I release a running video. I do that several times a week. You can also hit that bell icon and it will notify you as soon as I've updated the channel. You can also follow me on social media. All of my links are going to be down in the description and you can find me across most platforms under the name Running Geek Girl. Thank you so much for being here. I am so glad that you've spent another month with me and I can't wait to see you next time. Happy running!